they've said a whole a lot of things about me when I yeah. Or well, those ones, I was just catching crews with it. So I don't think about it. Yeah. But when my dad's pee came out, I tried. I tried. I tried. I couldn't. I was trying to be strong. To be strong, but I couldn't. I I would just I would just be in the house and I would start crying. I would just. It was. I couldn't because I felt after everything they've done to me growing up. Refusing to see me through school, even when I'm sick in school, my friends will say, "Oh, there was a day I was very sick." My lodge mates came to my room, like, oh, "Where's your mommy's number? Let's call your mommy." They called, and she was like, "They shouldn't call that number again. She's not my mommy." They showed me, "Is this your mom's number?" I said, "Yes." Once upon a time, I fainted in the house. It's like I don't know what happened, but my dad and mom were. They, 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 they just remained where they were in the sitting room that if I want to die, I should die. My younger sister had to run outside to call the neighbors and we were praying, pouring water, pouring everything they want to pour. So when I came into limelight here yeah, and all of a sudden everybody started loving you. Do you get it? I, I, I am somebody that I don't do well with fake love. Fake love. Uh, I I can't pretend, no matter who you are, I can't pretend, like, I can't. So, in as much as I still try my best to make sure they don't lack anything, sometimes one part of me is like, do you know what, you should have just ignored, because I, I, I most times I tell myself, I say, I don't, I owe nobody anything, I don't owe any, anybody, I'm not sure I owe, and the only person I feel I owe anything in my family is my auntie. Yeah, because I remember the last time we had a session, you talked to me about the auntie you stayed with. Yes. Um, that your parents had to send you off to, and it yes. got to a point where um, she just said, this is the best she could do for you. So you had to now start paying your own school fees because she had trained you to a certain extent. So secondary, yeah. So I would, tell me, I would say, if at all I owe anybody in my family anything, it's her, at least to some extent, though. Yeah. First, when people say, oh, are you sure things don't get to this girl? Things don't, they do, but some gets in more. Because it's family. Because These are people that are supposed to be close to you. get it. It's, it's crazy. There was a day, I don't know, I went through my sister's phone, one of my younger sisters. I saw oh. her chats. I saw, I read... Her chat and my mom's chats. And I sat down for like 10 minutes. I was wondering like, am I sure I'm from this family? The chats was given when two girls that don't like me are chatting about me. I couldn't hold it. I called her. I was like, I, I was talking. She wasn't understand what I was saying. I mean, I was getting more confused. I just ended the call and I was looking. Because I, I, I don't know, I, I, I felt I was overreacting. So, see, many things, there are some that are even too heavy for me to say. It's, 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 honestly, yes, yeah, since just this family pic came online, it's been, because I'll post pictures, I'll do something, I'll be out there, someone, somebody will say, look at her. She has not get out for her family, look at her. Yeah. And now, I say, I try my best to be a happy person because if I were to be sad, I have a lot of things to be sad about. So I always try my best to, to stay happy.